Texas Governor Greg Abbott wants another forward operating base for troops. Not overseas, like in the Middle East or Western Pacific, but at the U.S.-Mexico border. Governor Abbott says he authorized the construction of forward operating base Eagle. The 80-acre facility will be located along the Rio Grande River in Eagle Pass, Texas. Texas National Guard troops, working at the direction of Governor Abbott, installed razor wire and built a wall of shipping containers along the riverbanks in an effort to deter a record number of illegal border crossings into Texas. The number of migrants crossing into the U.S. skyrocketed under President Biden's administration, leading Republicans in the House to impeach the U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas. Governor Abbott says FOB Eagle will enable the National Guard to consolidate its forces in the region and provides a central location to conduct operations. Abbott says FOB Eagle will house up to 1,800 troops with the ability to accommodate up to 2,300 under surge conditions. This will organize substantial forces also uh, to expand the razor wire barriers that are going up. In this area, listen, we've seen the effectiveness of, of the razor wire in Shelby Park, uh, where crossings have, have gone from 3,000, 4,000, or 5,000 people a day to less than 1% of that crossing illegally per day. And that's because of the effectiveness of the razor wire. Our goal is to make sure that we expand the effectiveness of that razor wire to uh, more areas along this border. Ha having the soldiers located right here, right by the river, uh, they're, they're going to have uh, the ability to more quickly be able to construct that razor wire barrier. Forward operating bases are usually reserved for direct military operations in foreign countries, but there are currently 11 FOBs operating on U.S. soil. Eight of those are in Arizona and New Mexico. FOBs come in many different shapes and sizes, and no two are exactly alike. At its most basic level, a FOB is a secure military location used to help and support tactical operations. That usually means some form of command and control center, but could also include a barracks, dining or laundry facilities, even workout centers. FOBs also provide troops a place to recharge, as well as fix any equipment issues they're encountering and coordinate with their commanding officers. A recent survey of Texas National Guard troops who are currently deployed to the southern border showed a growing resentment over the lack of resources for troops. The survey also showed a significant number of respondents thought there was not a clear mission for troops at the border and that their work was being politicized. Thank you.